Welcome, Jason. First up, we'll go to Steve Simmons, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Steve. Jason, hi. Um, a lot of guys would have given up if they had bounced around to as many teams and as many places as, as Galchenyuk did in a pretty short time. What do you think kept him going, and, and what have you learned from seeing him in his time as a Leaf? Yeah, I think a lot of credit goes to him just for his attitude. I think uh, being a high pick like he was and then going through some hardships here lately, he's come here and he's been really determined. He understands that we have a deep team. And, you know, even when he was out, he had a great attitude and he works at his game. He, he spends time after practice, spends time before practice. And uh, he's a guy that's, you know, just had a really determined effort. So uh, great to see him have success. And, and he's been a big contributor for us. We'll go to Kevin McGrand, Toronto Star. Go ahead, Kevin. Jason, you've been in a lot of playoff series, gone deep a lot of times. How hard is the fourth win? Hey, everybody knows it's the hardest win. We're going to see their absolute best next game, and uh, we have to make sure that we're ready to go. I think it's important we get some rest here uh, after tough back-to-back, -back, and then uh, we got to come ready to play because they're going to be a determined team. And uh, like you said, the fourth win's the hardest to get. We'll go to Luke Fox, Sportsnet. Go ahead, Luke. Hi, Jason. Uh, what has stood out to you as a difference between uh, the Alexander Kerfoot we saw last year and the one we're seeing this year? Uh, he's just a very competitive guy. He's hard on pucks. I think this time of year brings out the best of him. Um, he's a guy that when you have injuries, he's stepped up and, and really filled the void for us. Uh, and it's, that's what you need this time of year. But Kerf is an extremely competitive guy. I don't think he gets enough credit for how, how hard he is, how competitive he is in all aspects. So um, I expected him to, to raise his game, and he has. And uh, he's a great contributor that probably goes under the radar here a little bit with our club. Next up, we'll go to Mark Masters, TSN. Go ahead, Mark. Jason, what stands out to you the most about how William Nylander has been playing in this series? Yeah, that's another guy that's just, he's really led the way. He's, he's showed a lot of determination. His board battles have been second to none on our team. Uh, he's showing poise with the puck, which is hard to do at this time of year. And uh, just a lot of good things. He's more vocal on the bench. You can tell he's really taking a leadership role with, with John Down. And then he stepped up and, um, you know, another guy that's done a lot of great things for us. We'll take a few more here. We'll go to Terry Koshan, Toronto Sun. Go ahead, Terry. Hey Jason, you're saying that the uh, Canadians, you know, are gonna, they're going to bring their best on Thursday. But through four games here, and, and really, I guess the past three in the wins, what have you guys done to nullify that and, and really uh, snuff out their uh, their uh, offense? Uh, other than what uh, uh, Jack has done for you in goal. Yeah, Soup's obviously made really timely saves for us. That's huge. Uh, come playoff time, I think we're just trying to limit their rush chances. I think if you look at the game one, they got a, a goal on a rush chance. And, um, it's important that, that we take that away from them. You know, when we do, we're able to kind of slowly gain territorial play and, and wear them down a little bit. And then uh, you need some pucks to drop for you. So um, we know what we do when we play well. We have to stick to it. Keeper's done a good job of keeping us on task. And now we just got to keep moving forward. And last two here, we'll go to Josh Clipperton, Canadian Press. Go ahead, Josh. Hey, Jace. Uh, Kerry, it seemed to have your number a little bit in the series last couple of games, last night and then the breakaway early. Uh, <laughs> how tough is it to beat him and how tough will it to beat him in game uh, game five? Yeah, he's probably the best goalie of our generation. So I think it's just important that you don't get uh, you don't get frustrated when your saves are made. You know, saves are going to be made at times. And uh, as a goal scorer, you have to just kind of stay around the net. When you're getting chances, it's usually a good sign. So uh, I expect him to make saves. You're not going to score every time, but you just got to stay with it. And last one here, we'll go to Francois Gagnon with RDS. Go ahead, Francois. Yes, Jason, um, you and Joe, you were like the big guys, the studs of your team a couple of years ago. Now you are in different roles. And how important is it to log some points and goals and passes and assists uh, to make you feel, let's say, more uh, valuable to the team in the role that you are uh, filling right now? Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I'm completely comfortable with not getting goals and assists and, and knowing that I can contribute. Um, you change your value system as you get older as a player this time of year. I think you do need contributions from up and down your lineup. So it is a positive when we can score, but by no means is that our, our main focus when we're out there. We're trying to give good shifts and carry momentum and our top guys have carried us all year. So we're going to continue to get that. But in playoffs, you definitely need different guys to step up, especially early in, in series. So, um, but no, I, I can't say I judge myself on goals and assists anymore. That would be a, you know, not fair to my teammates. Thanks, Jason.